This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Bill Ritter and Liz Cho, Scott Clark with sports, and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 11. A grisly discovery, an elderly woman found in a freezer, her body frozen for nearly a year, and tonight police are searching for her son. But first at 11 o'clock, he's guilty. New York City's only Republican Congressman, Vito Fosella, convicted of drunk driving. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bill Ritter. And I'm Liz Cho. That drunk driving arrest, the beginning of the end for Fosella's political career. Now it is up to a judge to decide if the disgraced congressman will go to jail. I would assume reporter Jeff Begay's in Fasella's district on Staten Island with a story. Jeffrey? And Bill, in this area is New York's lone Republican and the congressional delegation. Vito Fasella was once considered a political rising star, but he could face jail time. And this is a stunning fall from grace for a politician who was once considered a potential candidate for mayor. Tonight are waiting for autopsy results, hoping to learn how a 10-month-old baby girl suddenly died. Baby's mother and several other police people. in a stolen car tonight is charged with murder after a horrific and deadly crash. And Jen Maxfield has the story. She's in New Milford, New Jersey for us. Jen. And Bill, the 10 year old victim, Miriam Abraham, was on her way to a party at school to celebrate the Jewish holiday of Sukkot. She never made it to that party. She was killed and her mother, her brother and a family friend were all injured when the driver of a stolen car crashed into their car at this intersection. The stolen car hit the victim's car in this intersection so hard that the victim's car literally split in two. The back half came flying through the trees here on Pat Martin's property with such force that objects in the trunk came flying through the glass windows here, cracking them. And if you take a look up and you see that dent in the awning, that is where the car's bumper hit. Now to the race for President Barack Obama tonight, winning the endorsement of three major newspapers, the Los Angeles Times, the Washington Post, and the Chicago Tribune. Senator McCain, meanwhile, will be in Virginia Saturday. Today, he was in another must-win swing state, Florida. Mr. McCain campaigned with Connecticut Senator Joe Lieberman by his side. Still to come on this Friday night, a grisly discovery. The body of a 100-year-old woman found frozen solid and stuffed in her freezer. And take a look what happened when paramedics arrived. And yes, it was caught on camera. That and more when we come back in 60 seconds. P police tonight looking for the son of a 100-year-old woman whose body was discovered in a freezer in their family home. And there's every indication she has been there for a while. It happened in Cooks Falls in Delaware County, about 80 miles northwest of New York. I would assume reporter Carolina Lead has the story. Some thought Herta Oslander died years ago, others catching those checks all along. Police say Roland Oslander had a rubber stamp made up of his mother's signature. Investigators do not suspect foul play. Liz. Carolina, thank you. And as we continue on this Friday night, the bus driver who snapped, what made him walk into a store and attack a teenage girl? Plus this. The rap artist booked hundreds of hours in the studio and then didn't pay. That's when the studio owner wanted seven on his side. I'm Taffy Phillips. That's all right. Coming up, yo. And I, <laughs> I'm meteorologist Lee Hilbert. The AccuWeather forecast. I'm watching some showers in the Accu track down near Cape May, but that's where they stay. Nice weekend coming up. Nice fall weekend, yo. <laughs> back, back in a moment. That was pretty good. Uh, ABC7 is with you in the fight against breast cancer, and we want you to know there are reasons for hope. I'm Diana Williams. Join us Saturday at 7.30 as we explore the newest weapons in the fight. Now, more than ever, there are reasons for hope. Saturday at 7.30 on ABC7. Brought to you by Ford and Emblem Health. C7 live lottery drawings. Catch win four in the numbers game during Eyewitness News at noon and Wheel of Fortune at 7.30. Plus, all week around Eyewitness News at 11, look for Mega Millions, Take 5, and the New York Lotto. Monday, beginning at 5 a.m. In the market for a career change or better pay? We'll take you to a great place to look for a new job, and it's totally free to use. Monday, beginning at 5 a.m. This is Eyewitness News. Proud to support the Protect Our Children campaign. Have you seen Beatrice? 
ABC7 and the Westchester Medical Center urge you to protect our children. Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Prize Michelle. You may not have heard from this man in a while, but you may have heard his group, the Fugees. But this man says he's no longer a fan. How much does he owe you? He owes me roughly $19,000. Have you gotten any of it? Nothing. Did you know about that? No, I didn't. No. We've been talking to them about it. Roz told us to talk to Ray from the studio. No, Ray, uh, we've spoken to Ray. Ray well, wants us to, to talk to you. To you. Ray wants attorney. us to talk to you and wants to know when he's going to get his money. Well, you need to speak to my attorney. When is he going to get us? We'll come right back to you guys, and uh, Channel 7 is here to help us. In Chelsea, Tappy Phillips, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. There you go. Go Tappy. Don't Tappy. mess with Tappy. No. Yo. <laughs> I didn't. What did I do? I didn't do anything. <laughs> You're always doing something. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we uh, got a what? It's cold outside. Good? Yeah, a little chilly out there. Our temperatures dropping through the 40s. It's like fall. That's pretty much it. That's outstanding so observational smart. skills. <laughs> outside we go tonight, where the Empire State Building is lit up for the big cat show at uh, what's the cat championship? Championships. Yes, yeah, not just the show. Madison Square Garden. Yeah. So. Uh, We'll see how that is tonight. We had some frost advisories. They're up over Orange and Putnam County and also over Eastern uh, Ulster. Freeze warning there. S uh, storms are going by to our south, and I'm not really concerned about the rain. We're on the northern fringe of the clouds, yeah, especially 73 degrees. Aki track right now, and you'll notice that I've put temperature and cloud cover here, and where you have the clear sky, you radiate any of the heating you got from the day, and that's why we're in the 30s very quickly in northwestern New Jersey. Now, by then, uh, Sunday, this high will move a little closer to us, so I think that these clouds will be pushing offshore, and we'll have a mostly sunny day, just a few patchy clouds in the east end of Long Island, down the Jersey Shore, so a high of 58. Chilly breeze to start the day. It's partly cloudy south and east of New York City. 46 to start the day, and we'll go up about 10. Breezy and cool, and a mix of sun and clouds. Tomorrow night's another cold night, but the wind is lighter. Pair of fours. And then for tomorrow, or into the five-day active weather forecast, it's 50s through the weekend. Again, Sunday's probably a little sunnier. Monday's absolutely gorgeous, of course, 64. Passing shower on Tuesday, and that's just a small threat. And Wednesday's windy and cooler, 58. It's been dry for a while. It continues that way yeah. for another week. Wow. wow. Yeah. Okay. okay. Enjoy the weekend. You too. Thanks, Thanks Lee. Lee. All right. Coming up next, new information about Nancy Reagan's health scare. But first, let's take a look at tonight's winning New York lottery numbers. And once again, the winning Mega Millions number. And for those of you holding New Jersey tickets, are your winning lottery numbers. And now tonight's live drawing of Take 5. Good evening, I'm Sarah Pingo. Welcome to Friday, October 17th, Take 5 draw. Thank you and good luck. Closed captioning brought to you by... Toyota. Monday at 5. Eyewitness News with a new kind of bypass surgery that makes it easier to bounce back. It was amazing how quickly I recovered. Plus, shoppers, heads up. Are you getting less for your money? Learn the tricks some companies are using when you join Diana Williams, Shade Badarinwa, and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Monday at 5, right here on ABC7. Under the heading, no good deed goes unpunished, the guy without the shirt got angry over a traffic tie-up on an Oklahoma highway. The paramedic tried to calm him down, and well, you can see what happened. The medic defended himself, got in a punch of his own. Suspect arrested on charges of assault and a possession of mm -hmm. drugs. Scott Clark, up next with sports. What a thriller they had on the ice of the garden tonight. Coming up on Eyewitness News, just follow the bouncing puck and watch it rock and roll. Goal or no goal? Get Scott Sports out of there. You see the puck. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, the Knicks exhibited their wares against the NBA champion Celtics in Boston. Sometimes just too much on the screen. Next. Reason for hope in the fight against breast cancer Saturday at 7.30. I take it we're going to see the close-up of that puck <laughs> going in there. And you'll see it all, too. <laughs> okay, good. That's It'll good. be great. Yeah. The Rangers had their perfect record broken last time out, so they were out to hand the Toronto Maple Leafs their first loss of the, the season. The puck deflects off Ryan Callahan's leg. The puck hits one post, glides along the line, hits the other post, but did not cross the line. No goal. New York football giants host the 49ers Sunday. They endeavor to get back on the winning track, does Big Blue. They just as soon forget them into the weekend. I'm Scott Clark. Hope you make your birdies this week. That's I it. That's it. That was pretty special. Thanks, Thanks guys. Scotty. Thank you so we'll be right back. Tonight's sports report, sponsored by Fidelity Investment. Line is just seconds away. And that is news for this Friday night. Thanks for watching. I'm Liz Jeff. And I'm Bill Ritter. I would assume returns tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. for all of us. Scott Clark, Lee Goldberg, the whole team. Have a great night. We'll see you Monday.